What's up everyone, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids and I'm out here with my dogs taking a walk in the New Hampshire winter landscape in the woods. And uh, today we're taking a look at this pack. This is the LA Police Gear Operator Backpack. I'll show you what it looks like in depth. We'll go through all the different compartments. It's gonna run you $49.99 over on their website. You can get it in this color, which is tan and also an OD in black as well. And if you wanna see what it looks like filled up, check out my video, I'll put the link down below to my emergency car survival bag. And this is the bag I'm using for that. So you'll see it just holds tons and tons of gear and lots of different compartments. But I wanted to empty out the bag and just show you what it looks like without anything inside it so you can see all the space and all the different compartments. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's talk through some of the functionality. You can see we have lots of Molly webbing here on the outside so you can attach a lot of additional gear. We've got this section of Velcro so you can put patches. You can see there's a lower compartment here, then there's an upper compartment. In this upper section, there are three compartments, an outer, a middle level, and then the inner compartment as well. And we'll look at those and show you the different compartments even within those compartments. But just here on the outside, there's a lot of cool features with that Molly, uh, with the place to put patches. And then moving to the side here, We've got this little pack, a uh, little pouch here with more molly webbing and the same thing on the other side. So you can put gear in here and you can do the same thing on the other side. One of my favorite features of this pack is right here, okay? So you have a handle here, you have a handle up top, you also have a handle on this side. A lot of packs like this, they'll put, you know, they'll put a handle on the top, which is great, but the downside is that if you have to grab it from the side, there's nothing to hold on to. So this way you have a handle on each side and these are double stitch, reinforced, very strong. Another nice feature is you have these compression straps. Let me just bring that up to the camera here. Compression straps so you can cinch down the pack and you've got this extra little feature, which is just great. You've got these little Velcro strips and basically what they do is when you get done compressing the, uh, the straps here, you can wrap the straps up so they're not in the way. So as you can see, once I click this into place here like this, there's not straps hanging all the way down the side here. And you can see down here, here's how it looks, just doubled over once. But that, those two features are really nice because if you're in any type of situation where you can't get hung up on, you know, if you're inside like a doorway or something like that, if you're outside trees, branches, whatever it is, it's nice to have those little features. Another great feature of this pack is that you can run your hydration tube out of both sides of the pack. So you've got one on this side and also one on this side as well, which is great because for most packs you only have one option. Now you have two options of where you can run your hydration tube with this operator backpack. Flipping over to the other side of the backpack, you can see our two straps, very comfortable, a lot of cushion in there. And we also have D-rings here and here if you want to attach something. You also have these control straps for running your hydration tube down closer to you. You do have a sternum strap here and that is fully adjustable and that makes a difference definitely when you're walking with a lot of weight just to keep the bag controlled. You can see that these are QD so you can take them off quite quickly and easily to get them out of the way if you want to take the pack off, whatever it is. A lot of ergonomic feature here. You can see all these cuts and designs are not just to look pretty, but it allows the pack to be more breathable. We also have a zipper that runs all the way along the side and the top. Here's what it looks like closed. And when you open it up inside, there is a mesh pocket here and you've got this reinforced backing and this just gives more structure to the pack. So when you're wearing it, it has a little more rigidity. Down in the lower section here, you can see we've got a QD clip for our waist strap. You also have QD clips on the outside here and over here as well. And one thing I want to show you is that this section here is reinforced on the bottom and this is a extra large cushioning section. This will rest on the lumbar portion of your back. So it'll add comfort and also again, add to the breathability of the pack. All right, let's take a look inside. First off, looking at the lower pocket, you can see that unzips quickly and then you have three different storage compartments here with mesh and then you have a zippered storage compartment here with mesh. So you can store things here and then organize them however you want in this lower portion of the bag. Next up we have this outer pocket, no mesh or organization here, but just another additional storage space. When you close it up, you get into the second layer and you can see that there is quite a bit of organization in this second portion. So let me zoom in really quickly here and I'll show you. We've got pockets for pens. We have this Velcro lanyards. This is a elastic lanyard. And then we have all these different storage sections. We also have a keychain lanyard here. Lots of ways to store pens, uh, pads, paper, and a lot of other gear in this second section. 
In the main compartment, we've basically got two different sections. We have the back section here and then this section here. Let me talk about this very quickly. You can see tons of straps in here. So you can put gear in here and then strap it down both horizontally and vertically as well. And you can see up top here, we have these Velcro retention straps and that is for your hydration bladder. Flipping it around to this side, you can see two more large mesh pockets. One here on the lower section and then one on the upper, again, to keep all your gear organized. Two more features I want to talk about. First is that at the bottom of the pack, there are drain holes, one, two, and then three. And that is really helpful. You wouldn't think about the fact that if your pack gets wet, oh, it's not a big deal. It's, uh, you know, it's cloth material. It'll somehow, the water will leak out. But it is nice that if you do get your pack wet, you know that you have a way for the water to come out much more easily. The other additional feature, which is, again, often underestimated, these four pieces of webbing. These are stitched in so you could run some sort of molly or some sort of paracord maybe through here to attach a thermorest, some sort of sleeping bag, some sort of sleeping pad, or any other additional gear you want on the bottom of the pack. This is a great extra feature that a lot of packs just overlook. A couple final thoughts as we wrap up here. First, just the details. Again, it's the LA Police Gear Operator Backpack, $49.99 over on their website, lapolicegear.com. And they have a bunch of their own gear over there. Their most popular item is the bailout bag, and that's 20 bucks, $19.99. They have it in OD, in tan, and in black. And I've had those as well, very happy with them. The other thing I'll say is this, if I was gonna go backpacking across the entire country or do some mountaineering, some intense hiking, whatever it is, I would be using my Gregory backpack, my Osprey backpack, something like that, because that's what it's designed for. This pack serves the function for which I use it perfectly. So I keep this in my trunk. I've got lots of gear in it. It's well organized. And if I have to grab it from my trunk and hike a mile into the woods or, you know, jog a quarter of a mile, up, quarter of a mile up the road to help somebody out in a situation, I've got this pack. It's comfortable enough for traveling short distances. It's keeping all my gear well organized. And that's why I like it. Again, the price point, 50 bucks. This is a pretty unique pack that's nicely made and also very reasonably priced. So check it out again over at LAPoliceGear.com. Thanks for watching the review. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Tumblr. Take care.